welcome to the new episode of Vande Mataram, the story of India's brave hearts. Chalkari Bai was a legendary warrior who played a crucial role in the Indian freedom struggle of 1857 during the Battle of Jhansi in the women's army of Queen Lakshmi Bai of Jhansi. She was born in a Dalit family and grew up to become a soldier, eventually becoming Lakshmi Bai's trusted advisor. Chalkari Bai was the only daughter of Sadoba Singh and Jamuna Devi. She was born on November 22, 1830 in Bhojla village near Jhansi. Her family belonged to the Kodi caste. After her mother's death, her father raised her. At a very young age, she was trained to use weapons, ride a horse and fight like a warrior. She also killed a wild leopard in the forest with a stick that she used to hurt the cattle. When she was young, her stories of courage and bravery since childhood were heard by Puran of Namapur Jhansi, himself from Kori caste. Puran was courageous and famous wrestler, experienced in archery and expert in horse riding, firearms and sword yielding. He told his mother that he wanted to marry Chalkari. Chalkari by his father agreed to it and the marriage was ceremonized in 1843. Chalkari Bai met Rani Lakshmi Bai for the first time during Gauri Puja festival in the fort. It is believed that Rani was struck by Chalkari Bai's resemblance to her. When the queen got to know of her bravery and fighting skills, she inducted Chalkari in Durga Dal, the prestigious women brigade. Soon through her courage, skills and leadership, she rose to become the commander of Durga Dal. When the British attacked Jhansi In March 1858, the proud Rani refused to submit and a series of fierce battles ensued. During one such battle, British Army officer Hugh Rose laid siege and the fort was breached. It is said that Chalkari Bai asked Rani Lakshmi Bai to escape and mobilize the forces. She disguised herself, wore Rani's battle attire and led Chhansi's army from the front riding her horse. The British were fooled by her resemblance to Rani Lakshmi Bai and put all their might after her. Chalkari Bai fought with fierce determination until she was captured. Britishers thought they had captured Rani Lakshmi Bai, but Rani had escaped the siege. When the Britishers realized that they were completely hoodwinked, they hanged Chalkari Bai. The British general is believed to have said. that if one person of indian women were like chalkari bai the british would have to leave india the valor and courage of chalkari bai have become part of bundelkhandi folklore many such warriors and freedom fighters are celebrated and idolized by their local communities but strangely they don't find a place in our history books we need to explore the tradition of heroism and courage of every region to create a comprehensive narrative of our history the story of chalkari bai as virangana tells us while looking at the representations of women in the history of 1857 is crucial her story defines political and social positioning of dalits in india the political and public memories invoked by her story have become the symbol of bravery of the dalit community Thank you. Namaskar.